We're about to give Camp Bells a run for their money. Homemade chicken noodle soup tonight in the Hexclad. I'm gonna use three of these chicken breasts as long as nothing looks wonky. No. Three for three. The peppers, the salts. You like my little UFO thing? You gotta sing that song. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. You got rosemary, it's parsley. I got brand new thyme. You're gonna ask me for measurements? I don't think I've ever measured any of them. All right, that's the only time I have on my hands. Equal parts of all four. Uh, if you think it's under seasoned at the end, you can always add more and then let it cook a little bit. Draws olive oil enough to get the bottom of the pan wet. So at medium high heat, not really going for a full cook till done on the chicken. You're more or less just trying to get a good sear on both sides. Use the back of your knife to scoop. It'll save your edge a little bit longer. But one full onion. Unless you have a breastfeeding mother in the home. In which case, go half onion. Your gassy baby will thank me later. You gotta tuck her back. Is if you slice your finger this way, right here on the top, you can grow that back. But a fingertip, those don't come back. They're not cheap. I don't have the patities, but I got the baby carrots. All carrots are made equal. Some are overachievers. Got our little hot pad now. So far, the sear we're seeing here on the hex clad pan is pretty solid. I mean, you tell me based on that color what you think. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna deglaze the pan just a smidge with some Earl. These pans are kind of like cast irons. They hold heat really well. So when you come in here, it's still gonna be hot as long as you got it on something that's not gonna pull the heat away. Like if I would've put this on the wood, suck the heat right out into the wood. But this hot pad, stay up in there, boy. Add in all of our carrots, onions, and stuff. Forget this, go on. We'll get up in there and get it. Midwestern Trinity right there. Go space, man. Back to the heat. Those cook down until they're nice and soft. Okay, pumpkin. Go, perfectly medium rare chicken. I mentioned a few times that I have four kids, but I never really mentioned that my middle two are twin boys. And they've been getting really into like Ninja Turtles. And I don't think they quite understand the moves yet because they're, you know, almost three. And they karate chopped the cat earlier. By natural pecking order, I'm probably next. <laughs> About yay sized chunks. Follow me for any length of time. How are you liking these longer videos where you get to see me in the camera? So the game plan is I'm going to transfer all this onto this plate here. Then I'm going to take you guys over there. I'll see you over there. Hey, you beat me over here. I love that texture. Ooh. Let this go until our chicken is fully cooked. The only broad in my house is my wife, so I have to get the extra broad. Don't bury him. 10 cups of sink water. This is an eight quart pan and I've been making this for a while. My wife had like a Royal Prestige set and it always fit all the way up to the brim. I do have extra room here though. Oh dude, there's like three inches of room in there. So instead of buying three things of chicken stock or two cups in a container, you're probably gonna forget about in the back of the fridge. And by the time you find it, it's, it's gonna smell like the cousin at the family reunion that you don't talk to very often. And he wonders why. So I started using these Weiler chicken cubes, as many as I need, and then put it back up in the cabinet and they don't go bad. Throw in the last cube. I don't want to, I'm tired. And then take a nap. And then throw in that last cube. Some swish, get to this point right here. I set it up on medium heat, I cover it, and let it come up to a boil, stirring occasionally. Looks good. Quarter a cup of heavy cream for this. Quarter to a third of a cup. Come say hello to my little friend. Look. You know it's coming. Come get dinner! We got a pretty big house with all these kids. It's hard for them to hear over all their stuff. So if you don't like it when I say that, do something about it. You feeling froggy? Then leap. Girl just put out a new color. I really like these bowls. Thick pot of soup. So I go in for all my toppings. Then I ladle out my broth after. Now, this does stretch, okay? So don't feel like you gotta eat it as is. On day two, you fill it up with more broth and a little bit more heavy cream. You can just keep going.